Hey guys, good morning guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video, I hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, we are going to be talking about Resident Evil Village's first DLC, and we're going to theorize the release date. Now, I did talk about this in my previous video, and I would really recommend going and watching that, because I do theorize and give you guys some ideas that, you know, that could happen for the first DLC. But other than that, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I really appreciate a like, subscribe, and put notifications on so you guys don't miss any more videos that i post but without further ado let's just get right into this video so essentially i'm going to be talking about this article and i'm going to use this as uh one of my references and uh i'm going to be talking about some things beside the article but i will leave it linked down in the description it's by games radar and i'm going to be talking about some major points real quick in the article i'm not going to be jumping into everything uh e3 capcom showcase was on june 14th it was brief and it showed nothing but a black screen and uh the development had barely started from what a lot of people are picking up and um, i'm putting things on the screen so you guys can basically get what i'm saying uh these are straight quotes from the article you know these are straight from them um and i mean let's theorize this for a second resident evil village's first dlc is probably in mid development at the moment and you guys are probably like but the dlc only the, the game already released like two months ago their first dlc should be out we gotta think about this right they have a lot on their plate right now they have resident evil out um outrage i'll say i'll say outbreak and they have resident evil outrage they have resident evil 4 remake and then they also have reverse you know and all three of these things do take up a majority of time you know and i'm pretty sure their major release that they're looking forward to is reverse because it's been delayed several times now and i don't think they want to push that back anymore you know and we really gotta think about that because they'd be losing out on a lot you know and i'm pretty sure they're trying to let resident evil villages hype die down a little bit so they can also profit off of outrage and i have a big feeling that outrage the time that outrage will come out is the time that we will get the first dlc now i've already speculated mostly man and i've said this dlc or make the dlc story packs just how they did in resident evil 7 I thought this was a very, very neat and wonderful idea because it could give us some clues to, you know, events that happened prior to the game, you know, some story DLCs about Ethan or maybe some about Lady Demtresk, like how in the Maiden DLC, one of the Maidens uh, tries to escape but she's ended up getting killed, you know, stuff like that, man. I mean, I would love to see some more events like that transfold, you know, and like, basically let us see it from a different perspective and i thought again i'm gonna say it one more time i thought it was a neat idea maybe we should go back to those mini game ideas how they did in resident evil 7 you know that was pretty scary maybe something like that essentially too um you know i'm just trying to get more fear out of resident evil 8 and that's something that i think the game was lacking again i feel like it was more action oriented it wasn't really scary necessarily but I would love for them to, you know, try a different approach with some of the DLCs, let them have fun, you know? But again, I think Capcom is working on it at the moment, but I don't think it's their biggest priority at the moment, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm going to be talking about my previous video, and I'm not going to touch on it too much, but I want to touch on it briefly and just bring up some points in that video because I feel like it's very relevant to this video and it could make a lot more sense. And possibly illustrate what i'm trying to say so essentially resident evil 7 had so much dlc and this is one of the things that i loved about resident evil 7 i never played the main game i played a couple of the dlcs at a friend's house but what i loved about resident evil 7 was that they had so many of these events dlcs that would you know tie the game together and when you tie events and you know continuity together it's one thing that makes a universe or a game in other haps very very great and this is just one thing that i love from a story perspective now resident evil 8 could do the same thing and i know development takes time you know and i'm just throwing out some ideas for capcom in the relatively near future with what they can make I mean, I'll say it again, we have event, we have notes and articles around the castle in Lady Demetrius' castle that talk about, you know, like in 1958 and like, you know, in, in old events and stuff like that, that, you know, could be tied together in the main story. And these are just side plots, you know, and what if they brought this, this kind of um, events into fruition? 
have these DLCs actually become a reality, you know? Um, I mean, I'm showing you, I showed you guys right now, I mean, it's just walking around the castle and it talks about a certain event, stuff like that, man. I mean, that's pretty much one of the things that I talk about in my DLC video. The amount of DLC that this game could have is endless. And I'll say it one more time, it's endless, okay? And one thing that I really did like about Resident Evil 8 is that they lead it into Resident Evil 9. What if we get a DLC leading into Resident Evil 9? You know what I mean? That could be one possibility, but I mean, I don't think Resident Evil 9 is coming out till a few more years. We still got Resident Evil Outrage, we still have Resident Evil 4 Remake. They have a lot of projects on their mind, and I doubt Capcom's biggest priority would be Resident Evil Village's DLC. And more importantly, they have Resident Evil Reverse to develop and finish because it's been quite a few months now that they've delayed it. It was supposed to be back in July, and it was also supposed to be released at launch for Resident Evil Village. It's supposed to be side part. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's going to have to wrap up this video. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm sorry for no videos lately. I've, I'm trying to upload as much as I can, man, you know, but I do, you know, I do get busy, and I do apologize. I am working two jobs. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I am working two jobs, and that's something that I do take very serious, you know? But I thank you guys for all watching my videos, man. You know, I really do appreciate all the comments you guys leave sometimes. Well, it does help, you know. I've been going through some stuff lately and just, you know, there's not much I want to talk about. But I really do appreciate you guys' support. I really do love and cherish every single one of you guys. And I really do appreciate it. Now, with other, without further ado, guys, I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Oh, yeah. Like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys later. <laughs>